Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven, and this is Visions of Mana and we are still in the, at the Dark Archives and well we are in search of three ingredients that sounds pretty obscure but they should be all in town. So let's look on the map to see if there are any other quests besides uh, the resources. No. Well we can see the three stars where we need to find those ingredients so let's get to it. Uh, that's a rather peculiar getup you have there. Is that what the kids on the mainland are wearing these days? Uh, yes, yes, that is what they're wearing uh, these days. Mm. Hmm, a once in a thousand year egg. Does it mean the egg is really old? Or do we have to really be lucky with our timing? Uh, I absolutely don't know what this looks like. A chicken? Hey, don't give me... Any trouble? Uh. Huh? Oh, but the chicken really likes her. Ooh. Come in, wait. Don't, Don't move. move. Uh -huh. Oh, that's really rare. We were really lucky. The striped egg. You don't see an egg like this every day, that's for sure. Better not drop it. <laughs> Def definitely not drop it. Because I will be very disappointed. Alright, let's uh, look if the other two ingredients are just as easy to procure. I think it was like a talking cat. And something else. Well, the components of the elixir are explained uh, earlier. The croak of a frog, a striped egg, and the fur of a chatty cat. What? Hmm, do you think uh, one is supposed to obtain a croak? Uh, I don't know, I guess we're about to find out. Hmm. Oh no, it's getting away! Palomina, Morley, the frog's croak is coming right at you! Heads up! Aww. Pardon me. I am sorry for that incidental imposition. Oh, no, no. I, I should apologize. <laughs> Obtained Frock's uh, Croak. <laughs> we got all the colors in the rainbow. Morley and Palomina's faces were bright red. I hope they didn't catch anything. <laughs> well, they did catch a bug, so to say. <laughs> a scribe job is not always easy, but it's very rewarding work. I bet it is. Uh -huh. Huh, some uh, chitty cat's fur coming right up. Ah, uh, Morley's sisters. Yeah, they do tend to chat a whole lot, so there might be just the right felines we need. It's fine, Francine. I'm sure you were mistaken. No, 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 I'm not. I'm sure I saw a ghost. Mew just weren't paying enough attention. I was so. I think what Mew saw was probably just a scholar from the archives hidden by the fog. Quit being such a scaredy cat, Francine. It's the Merchant Sisters again. They show up in the weirdest places. They have to go where the customers are, don't they? Though, it doesn't look like they're selling anything at the moment. Let's see how chatty we can entice these kitties to get. How can Mew be worrying about ghosts when there's a whole Mew market to explore? Remember, Father would be disappointed if we gave up because of silly ghoulies. Easy for Mewtwo to say. Scaredy, scaredy kitty cat. <laughs> Did somebody order some chatty cats fur? Uh, thanks, Jolay. Well, I have to say, it was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I'll take it. Obtained the Chitty Cat's fur. That's everything. Okay. The fur of a Chatty Cat, 
the croak of a frog, and a striped egg. That's everything. Good work, everybody. All that remains is to return the required items to Von Boyage. So where is this Von Boy who's it? Ah, there he is. Oh, I remember. Von Boyage is the person who gave me the giant's fork. Let's go talk to him. <laughs> Time to pay Von Boyage a visit and drop off these ingredients. Here's hoping this does the trick and helps us weaken Delafos. <laughs> he was very, very friendly. <laughs> Sorry to intrude, Von Boyage. We've, um, got a request to ask of you, I guess? <laughs> Took your time, didn't you? Ace already told me all about what you fellas are up to. I have finished the necessary preparations, so leave it to me. <laughs> I know the fastest, neatest, and bestest method. Remember, use my inventions at your own risk. What good is genius without a bit of danger? Come, come, pass the components for the Corpedo to me. Oh, that's what I named the it. The Corpedo. Clever, don't you think? <laughs> oh, we're gonna launch rockets at him. Ah, I see you have all three. Now, it's my turn. This little beauty will solve all your problems. And if it doesn't, no returns or refunds. <laughs> <laughs> there, that's one completed torpedo for you. Looks very interesting indeed. Much like a Fabergé egg or something. I can finally get Hina's core stone back. Hmm, you know. Inventing is full of trial and error, but that doesn't mean making mistakes is a waste of your time. A mountain of past failures is a testament to your conviction. You learn from it and move forward. It's easy to abandon your efforts and stop trying. What's hard is continuing to do what's necessary for you and yours. So don't give up. We'll never give up, Bombayage. Corpedo obtained. That Corpedo looks dangerous. Hopefully it's enough. I better get it to Aish soon. Hmm. Yeah, look, uh, Grazzo is full of all those fellas. Scholars, scribes, inventors, you name it. Yes. Uh, Aish uh, has retired to the room in the back. Okay. Hmm, Corpedo. There's got to be a better name. Well, I'm sure we'll uh, manage. Oh, done already? That Von Buddy Boy is amazing. That we can agree upon. He is really, really good at what he does. Let's get back up. Congratulations on your success. You took your time completing the experiment, but better late than never, I suppose. Well, sorry. Please give me the Corpedo. Yes, quite intricate. A prime example of Von Boyage's handiwork. So, what do we do with it? Delafos's power is sealed away together with the Benevadon at the top tier of the Tome Spire. That is where he will appear, so that is where we must head him off. With Corpedo in hand, we will lie in wait until Delafos arrives. We then use our secret weapon before he has a chance to revive the Benevadon. Having reviewed your fighting capabilities thus far, I believe you will have no issue ensuring that the man comes into contact with the Corpedo. What's supposed to happen when Delafos touches it? Upon contact, the device will disperse a toxic deluge. Though it will not kill him, the pain should be at an untenable level. 
slowing his advance. Golly, that does sound dangerous enough to qualify as banned knowledge. Indeed. Why, that ancient text described the original Corpedo as capable of destroying an entire battalion in minutes. Whoa, be careful with that thing. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah, Thank a you. weapon of On mass destruction. <laughs> for all your assistance, Master H. We are in your debt. Wait until after the mission is deemed a success before you thank me. The torpedo may not even work. However, time is of the essence. Let us make haste to the top of the tome spire before Dalefos beats us to it. What? Already? <laughs> Would you rather wait? Every moment we waste is an opportunity for Dalefos to regain his power. Now is the time to strike. He's already here. No, it can't be. Dalefos? Here? You were supposed to go for the Benevadon. More bumbling attempts to interfere, I see. I had not calculated for this. Stay back! Place that thing on him on his back where he can't reach it. Is it working? Pretty smart hiding it in a book. Lauded as a hero among men. You received the favor of the goddess of Mana, <clears throat> wielded her weapon against the monster menaces, and saved the world. Why oppose her now? Please tell us, what is it that you wish to gain? What could the annihilation of the goddess of Mana possibly accomplish? <clears throat> <clears throat> To pests like you! Definitely not a hero anymore. He got away. Hina, I'm sorry. Telephos was meant to head for the Tome Spire. I had it all planned out to the minutest of details, and yet... Don't look now, but Dalevos already woke up the Benevadon of Darkness! I know this wasn't the plan, but we gotta go to the Passagean Tome Spire now. Please! Yeah. Wait. Take me with you. Please. What? Did you think we'd leave you behind? No, but... If you refused, I would stay. So now you're willing to listen to reason? Did that fight knock some sense into you? I don't... I don't know. Apparently, I know nothing. I have accumulated knowledge from all corners of the world. Yet I do not understand this feeling. But I think you are the key. Thoughts? It's okay. You can come with us, Aish. You're our friend, right? Yes. Uh... Friend. Thank you. There you have it, Master Aish. Hmm. 
<laughs> Use the torpedo. Delafo still has enough power to unleash a Benevidon after that? We gotta stop it before the scholars in the archives get hurt. Uh, true. Curious. Hmm, this feeling device description, but I might label it warmth. I feel changed as I first applied that name to our friendship. Our relationship. Yeah. Oh, new plan. Beat the Benevidon of the Darkness to a bloody pulp and then move on to Delafos. Oh, there are yet many things in this world that even Ish cannot comprehend. Who knew? What? Well, maybe I misjudged him. Uh -huh. Huh. That one overpowered maniac successfully toward us for now. I'm glad the torpedo worked. Yes, I'm glad too. God, that was a long shot. Alright, let's uh, head towards the tower and uh, see what we can do about it. Where to next? And I wonder, do we need to climb the whole tower again? Well, it would be a little bit faster than last time, that's for sure. In the past, when I first attempted to enter the Pasadian Tome Spire, I found myself overwhelmed by the monsters within. After you arrived, I assumed this was the perfect chance to try again. With the Soul Guard and Alms protecting me, I would be free to search the Spire to my heart's content. I called you friends, not out of feeling, but to gain unfettered access to the knowledge within these walls. I used your kindness. But... Now that I stand here, on the eve of battle with a Benevidon, I find that I want to prove myself useful. I am not here for books. I am here to help my colleagues. It took me this long to realize it. Hard to believe that arrogant scholar from before has made such progress. Uh, arrogant? Come now. I would say discourteous at worst. I am so glad to see you both getting along. Friends must fight a common foe, not their fellows. Yep, we're all one big happy family now. Come on, Val, Julie. Let's leave them to it. <laughs> yes, Definitely. Marie. That is the aura of a Benevidon, if I ever felt one. Does the Benevidon of Darkness actually make things darker? I can't see a thing. We don't know where it might be hiding. Be on your guards. No, I'm guessing we're just gonna use the cube here. Ah, do we, we do need to go through the entire thing, isn't it? No, that's fine. Like I said before, we now know the way, so we can skip the enemies and just uh, go to where we need to be. You have some pep in your step, Palomina. Is it about Morley and Aish? Precisely. I am relieved to see their association take a more amiable turn. That's amiable? Hmm, I guess anything is better than where they were at before. <laughs> well, now there is a potential of friendship between them. And that's always a good thing. Val, allow me to congratulate you on that stirring display of martial aptitude. You mean against Delafos? I barely made a scratch, but you were a big help, Aish. Please, I am humbled to have made a difference at all. Alright, well, I guess we have to defeat these uh, at least to get some uh, headway. Shouldn't get too cocky. Alright. You're my Just one more. Made this outcome an obvious uh, there it is, the books I can use. And the torpedo wasn't enough to take down Delafos. As expected, a hero of legend can withstand more than most. He uses his hatred of the goddess to fuel his power. What a sad source of motivation. It is. It, it truly is a sad state of affairs. Hmm. Hmm, 
guessing we need to defeat these first. Ah, perfect. A level up before a boss fight. I oh, never would say no to that. Hoping that uh, we are actually going the right way. You seem to enjoy taking jabs at others, Ace. Like to see people squirm. Is that it? Squirm? <laughs> Hardly. I have no firm opinion about purposefully annoying people for the sake of it. Though I do find conversations with Morley particularly entertaining. Ha! So you are trying to stir up trouble. Shouldn't do that. Would Delafos be close to where the Benevidon was sealed? Hard to say. He might not even be in the archives anymore. But then, what am I gonna do about my promise to Hina? <sighs> Gotta keep moving forward either way. Now's not the time to give up. Uh, that is very much true. Ah, uh, the blocks need to be destroyed. Second level done. We're doing it in record time. Yeah, that Benepidon doesn't know what's gonna hit him. Hopefully, uh, my weapons. Let's collect ourselves before we set off. Might as well make a quick save of it. We didn't get because we got whipped out of there straight away after defeating the boss. So this is very valuable. Ooh, what did we get? I didn't even check. Ooh. Very good. <laughs> and then another teleportation. Collect ourselves before we set off. Are we ready for this? Uh, I don't think we're there yet. <laughs> or are we? <gasps> we have arrived at the top tier of the spire. Okay, so where's the Benevidon? All I see is a lot of nothing. Strange. This area looks different from the archival descriptions I've read. See that large stone tablet over there? If I remember correctly, and I do, there was no mention of this being broken. Maybe the Benevidon broke it after it was set free? The rooms on the left and right seem to have something to do with this. As with the entirety of the Archives, this tome spire is governed by the powers of the Elemental of Darkness. Perhaps the vessel may be of some use to us? Might as well find out. Not like we can find a Benevidon that isn't here. Which way so, should we go? Left or right? They all look the same to me. You decide now. We need a repair it? Huh. Then uh, let's just pick this one. You came here on your own fish? Oh no. I never should have watched my step! Yeah, that was not the perfect jump I was hoping it would be. Huh. 
Shouldn't get too cocky. Grunty strength. Keep them coming. Moving. Yeah, we should uh, go after Sukubai because they have a tendency to mute us. If you, these groups are not too bad, we can handle it, but it's not perfection. How's this? I'm at full strength. Nice, got it. All right, so what do we do here? Look at that stone thingy go! Now we just gotta do the same to the other one. Let's give it a try. Okay, so technically we are repairing it? I do. Right. <laughs> You're welcome. Perfect. Mm, we could use a little bit of a heal. Alright, let's go back. Fight this one. For one to gain knowledge, another must forfeit it. Hmm? Loss for one. Uh. Achievement for hmm. another. Benevadon of Darkness. Zabel Far, I presume. Seekers of wisdom. Darkness will return you to the void. Quite a sinister silhouette. Oh, it's so definitely a sinister. Far. They like to make an entrance. The Benevadon is sure to be no match for this convoy. Uh, we're too far away. The vessel of darkness may provide some insight if you use it on the walls of the floor. Ascertain the rival's weakness. Right on target. <laughs> Uh, I wonder what else they're gonna do. This doesn't have to be their first form, just a way for us to open them up. Ooh, lots of criticals. Yeah, if he's not gonna attack the floor here, I'm gonna use it to keep attacking him. And once his head is gone, we'll move to the other one. Alright. That has gone. Oh, what's the next stage? <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> 
Extermination! That's, that's painful, that's painful, that's painful. The deadline is being resurrected. Wisdom. Nice time to descend into the abyss and glimpse wisdom. Discover wisdom and welcome darkness. The darkness is the harbinger of erudition. No, he keeps summoning the four sides, so he just need to destroy one. So he can't do the massive attacks anymore. to use the cookies here we only can use them at the beginning of the fight before we started all right well that's a learning moment Oh, 
spacious one, you see. <laughs> 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 Come on, cross me. You're not getting away. Finish up the last bits of it. Like we need to destroy the small ones as well. Hopefully, uh, the middle one won't come back while they are still busy. Alright, last one. And got it. <laughs> nice, and another one bites the dust. I cannot believe it. I... we defeated the Benevidon of darkness. <laughs> More like the Benevidon of dumbness. Wait, mm -hmm. the fairy. <laughs> Insightful curator of Lagrazzo, Aish, by the grace of the goddess of mana, I name you the Ohm of Darkness. I did not foresee this result. You must be mistaken, Fairy, for the Alm of Darkness has always been a scholar of such profound intelligence that none could compare. Allow me to enlighten you. How's it going, Shade? You're looking dusky as ever. <sighs> Jule, let us leave the pleasantries for a later time. <clears throat> Aish of the Lograzzo Dark Archives. You have been hampered by your search for knowledge without intent. However, through these recent experiences, you have known ignorance, camaraderie, and a thirst for understanding. Such traits are befitting of an alm. I am sorry it took so long to appoint you. Shade just couldn't make up his mind until the very end. These decisions are made with much deliberation. Discovering truth within the darkness of doubt. I am not immune to indecisiveness, elemental though I may be. Aish, see that you fulfill your duty as my alm. I thank you for the honor. But I find that I am, perhaps, not as moved by this cause as some of the other alms on this pilgrimage. You are not alone. The citizens of Lagrazzo care not for the prestige of the title. That being said... I am proud to hear that my endeavors have garnered your praise. If you will have me, I would see the alms duty through to the end. I know he will. And with him on our side, we might figure out a different way 
than sacrificing the alms. I see potential. Not that I wanted to fight a Benevadon and Dalefos at the same time, but still. We know one thing for sure. If Dalefos is trying to regain his lost powers, he's probably headed to another kingdom as we speak. When Dalefos ran off, he said something that sounded like Cerulea. I may not have all the particulars in my memory, but the name does seem familiar. The personage was a character in a play. The Radiant Playhouse Toratio periodically produces productions of this sort. One of the performers may be able to shed some light on the Dalefos situation. The man himself does not seem willing to listen to us. Therefore, it is up to us to gather more information on our own. Sounds like Teratio is our next stop, then. Maybe we can even meet up with the Alm of Light. A scholar informed me that the final Alm has not found their way to the capital. It would behoove us to confirm their condition as well. The faster we leave for the Radiant Playhouse, the sooner we'll know what's really going on with Delafos and this Cerulea. Please continue your journey without me for the time being. Eventually, I will join your pilgrimage. Oh, you wish to stay? I have not exhausted the Archive's data on Delafos and the remaining Benevidons yet. There are still ancient texts I want to reference. Understood. Then let us go our separate ways for a short while. But we look forward to your continued companionship. Likewise. This is not the last you will see of me. After all, we are friends, are we not? <laughs> I shan't soon forget. The Radiant Playhouse is on the island of Lorimar. May your travels be safe until we meet again. <laughs> Uh, and it does sound Shall a place for light. Shall we give a call and get a ride to Lorimar? We'd be lost without Vuskov's help. I gotta thank him again. Remember, the island of Lorimar is to the northwest of Brazo Islet. It is, and we will find it. And the word radiant, it does sound like we might find the arm of light there. So I figured we need to go there regardless uh, of uh, intent. Just to pick up the arm. Yeah, we'll see if our friend is there. I wanna have a little chat with him. Hm, nope, not at the moment. But yes, I did see a quest in town, and as always, if we see quests, we gotta pick them up. Uh, just one, it seems. Uh, have you heard of the Dane slaves? It's said that anyone who touches them will be cursed for all eternity. I must know if it's true or not. But alas, I'm no fighter. And I'd likely be killed before I could test whether the curse is real. What should I do? Uh, that's uh, a thought. If someone stronger than I were to fight the Dane slaves... You there. You look pretty strong. Perhaps you were also brave enough to investigate the curse of the Dane slaves in my stat. Uh, sure... Uh, where is it? In the Pesagian uh, Tomb Spire. Alright, so we need to go in the tower if we want to complete this one. I guess uh, we have no other choice but to uh, go for it. Where to next? Wait, there's another one here? Oh, I could swear I didn't see another quest when uh, we look on the map, but I might have always seen it. It is something that I could potentially do. Maybe there's another monster we need to be in the spire for. <laughs> After many years of studying, I finally got my dream job as a scribe. For my first talk, I've been put in charge of organizing some reference materials in the Pesagian tomb spire. Uh, but when I was working late the other night, I caught sight of this demonic monster lumbering around the halls. It's not unheard of uh, there, but uh, I still got the fright. I can possibly do my job knowing that the demonic monster could sneaking up behind me. I'd like you to go to the passage in Tomb Spire and get rid of uh, everyone you can find. How about it? Any specifics? Thus, demonic monsters defeat them all. <laughs> For a nice wallet of cash. Well, it does sound intriguing, uh, definitely. Uh, just a reflection. Alright. It could be that uh, when we picked up the quest to go to the tower, that that's when the other quest popped up. Like, they heard we were going and thought, hey, 
maybe we can use that to our advantage as well. Mm, I want to have a quick look in there. Because we are reaching the end of the episode, but... If we can quickly uh, knock these off, that would be perfect. Mm. Well, if we don't know where it is, <laughs> there's no point in warping to the other locations, is there? And we just have to make our way back to the top, defeating everything we see along the way. That's these ladies. It's the swords. Ah, okay. Well, then we are already working on the quest. Don't let victory go to your head. Oh, don't worry, we're not letting it go to our head. Just trying to make our fastest way to where we need to be. Slaves. I wonder if there's more of them if we go further in. Or if we need to go past the beginning. I do wonder, the demonic force they're talking about, could it be that they're talking about the wormwood? Because there are technically demons that I uh, know of stories of other games. And it is really our meaning like kill them all, then we do need to do every level of the stage, isn't it? Huh, I do wonder if... Ooh. No! Yes, we should have watched your step! <laughs> oh, really? Oh, that's uncalled for. That's uh, very far back. Uh, relatively speaking, of course. Is that that uh, latch that's underneath that really throws you off uh, the thing, isn't it? Don't need it. Ooh, this is definitely an... Definitely too powerful for you. Well, now we just need to find a few more swords, and that should be it. But yeah, this tower is not as uh, big if you uh, just uh, power through it. But 
but I do get an inkling that uh, <laughs> there are no more swords than the first uh, encounter we have in the tower. Uh, there are two more fights here. Mm, might be the other. Yes, more here. Oh, it is not enough. You know exactly where we have to be. That's the beginning. That's just a simple warp away. It's useless to run. Let's see. Uh, return to the quest giver. Return to the quest giver. Yeah, I think we just uh, defeated uh, all of them. Perfect. Well, where's our next stop? Didn't think we could climb that tower that quickly, but I'm glad we finished it. Wow! Wow, you've disposed of the demonic monsters in a tomb spire, I take it? Oh, now I can finally get back to sorting the documents in peace. Many thanks. You can have this. I hope it serves as suitable compensation. Oh, people in need can be so rewarding. Oh, yes. And the money is getting ridiculously high, meaning that the things we're gonna need are gonna get ridiculously expensive as well. Alright, let's deliver this one. And then we'll call it for the day. And next time, we're heading towards the Radiant Playhouse. Honestly, can't wait till we get there. Oh, oh you defeated Daneslays? And what of the curse? Surely you made contact with more than a few of those monsters. Well, you don't seem any different. Uh, does it mean that the curse was nothing but a fairy tale? Or perhaps the curse is broken when the Daneslays fell? How might one test this? Hmm. Further study is still required, but at least now we know that the defeating a Dane slaves appears to ward off any potential curses. A small step forward, but progress nonetheless. Here, for your troubles, I hope you find it useful. I'm one step closer to becoming a true soul guard. Ah, thank you very much. Do really appreciate it. Uh, no more quests. Where to next? No worry, I'm not gonna call. Uh, all right, just yet, but there is a marker. So I reckon we can use our new vessel for that. Ah, yes, there it is. Grant me power. Thanks for the pick me up. Not definitely. And with that pick me up, we're gonna leave the episode right here and now. Next time we're gonna head over to the Radiant Playhouse, have a little bit of a swim towards it, and maybe in, I will have a check up on a few points on the map to see if there are other side quests. Because if there are other side quests, that means we can get more rewards, and it's always a nice thing to get more rewards. So for now, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are, and if you're still here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and be back next time. Because it's time to go to the playhouse. Till then, bye-bye.